Welcome back, my fellow Dibigans, to the Oxygen Not Included. Today, I've got some construction going on, and Meep is so happy about it, because I've got two things. One, I'm putting in a spot right down here at the bottom of the base. The idea for this, um, besides now apparently having a, a spot for all of my fish, that was not part of the plan. But hey, look, guess what? It is now. <laughs> uh, the, the point of what I was trying to do down here... I have so many aches. Sorry, I keep getting distracted. The point is, <clears throat> is this is going to be an entry spot for getting inside of uh, Atmo suits and whatnot, or lead suits in order to go down and kind of deal with stuff deeper in the base. So if we go all the way down here, we got, you know, there's not much oxygen left. We've got some areas that are kind of hot and that I'd like to deal with. Plus I need to dig up this uranium ore down here. Now the thing is, I don't want to put my nuclear reactor all the way down here if I can help it. Um, I'm actually kind of want to build it right up here. The reason I want to do that is because I want to have nuclear rockets. And I think a nuclear rocket silo would go good right here. So, I'm digging out this area over here, slowly, so that I can get in there and, and build what I need to build. It's following the natural-ish terrain of the Abyssalite. I'm also going to dig out this area over here, if I can get to it. Uh, first, got to clear all the water, so I can take care of that. But this is mostly just going to be housing and whatnot. So those are the three projects. One, spot for the suits right down here. A little bit of housing projects and potentially starting up that new... Well, not starting up the nuclear reactor, but I'll at least plan out where I want it to go. So get to it, dupes. You got a lot of work. Oh, and the other thing is I, I brought my little Drekos all the way over here. They are now back in the correct spot. Look at that. Mm -hmm. How do you like that mealwood? I bet you love it. Who put this auto sweep right there? <laughs> Fail. Alright. As far as the temperatures inside of the base, oh look at this. Look at this. Zoom on out. Mmm. Real nice. Now the only thing is it might be getting a little bit too cold. Sorry about the frame right there. Yeah, things might be getting a little bit too cold. Might want to actually bump the heat up just a bit. Bring that up to 22. Technically it's going to cool this down further, so you know, is what it is. All right, what I should do right down here is to build up an automated mm, delivery system for my metal, so I know how, exactly how much metal I have. I know. Sorry, here we are yet again. If you're familiar with my series, <laughs> where I where I send up like a hundred different build orders all at the same time. Congratulations, we've made it back here again. I still can't find my amazing rancher. Darn it! I'll have another poke shell. I really should do something with the poke shell. Don't I have a lot of poop? I think I have a lot of poop. Let's do something with the poke shells. Why not? I got... <laughs> <laughs> Too many plans. Uh, forget it, though. I ain't stopping. Poke shells going on over here. Oh, I should do automated incubators, too. Especially now that I have cooling. Nothing is the last thing you'll ever do, dupes. Who is suffocating? You, dupes. Here, deliver. 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 Who is trapped? Joshua, what are, you, what, are, what are you doing up over here, dude? I was just trying to clean this area up, make it look a little more professional, you know? Because I've got standards. They're, they're kind of low, but... There you go. Hey, could you come back over... J Joshua. Joshua, Joshua. Hey, come back up here. What is that horrible sound? Oh, it's the Sweetle. Yeah, you know, maybe I do need automated ranching at this point. Well... You know, I was sitting down yesterday, or shall we say last night, what I would consider yesterday. I know, you're not even here. It, 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 things don't happen in real time. But for me, they do normally. Ignore it. The point is, I was like, what in the world am I going to do? I don't even know what to do at this point. I've got no plans. I, I, I've, I've reached a spot where I don't know what else to do. And now... Just a moment later, I have like a thousand plans I need to do. This game, you can do nothing if you really want to do nothing, but it's usually not a good option. Again, ignore everything I'm saying. I don't even know what I was trying to go for there. Why is this open? I think I can use hydrogen to gas lock that sucker. I might be able to do it. Let's try it. Ah, no, the hydrogen slipped away before I could capture it. There it is, floating up there, defying me. Although I do have carbon dioxide. Oh, what's it matter? You know one piece of equipment I really miss? The blow dryer. That was a modded piece of equipment that really worked out good well. So whenever a dupe went through like a puddle or something, you could blow, blow dry and 
Get a little morale bonus. Or should we say, basically, get rid of the Debo. Hey. Hey. Poke shell. Oh, no. Stop it. All right, where's the poke shell A? All right, whatever. We'll move the poke shell over here. We'll try to wrangle it as quickly as possible before it murderizes all my critters down here. Don't you dare be hitting me. Okay. Or the my little slugs, dude. Don't hit my slugs. It's not cool. <laughs> this poke shell has a lot of targets. <laughs> Anybody want to wrangle this thing? There we go. Ibuku's got it. All right. So now... Yeah. Oh, I see. I can't deliver to it because it's... I've got 60 critters. Crap. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Those poke shells hardly made it. <laughs> Severe wounds. You'll be fine. Don't worry about it. All right, so, uh, grooming station, critter feeder, and give you a little bit of this right there. That'll take care of you. I think everything's priority please at this. <laughs> oh, well, good enough. We'll get it done quickly. Let's take a look at my resources here. See how much poop we have. Hmm? Polluted dirt. Oh, yes. 29.4 kilograms of the stinky stuff. Or zero, apparently. I thought we had some. What? All right, how much dirt do we have then? Oh, okay, 228 tons of it. I think we're good, we're set. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just disable the poop piles for a little bit here. Now, who's trapped? Joshua, again? Okay, I was about to say. Lilu. God, see, this is the problem when I let other dupes go in here. They start sharing masks. Things get complicated. Ugh. Why am I still messing with those? Oh, look at all the little fishies. Hey, little fishies. To the left. A little bit more. There you go. There you go. Come on. You got it. Sploosh. Hey, there we go. That's the dupe I was looking for. Plus eight. To husbandry right there, and plus three, that brings me up to a total of 11. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty darn close right there. Peshit, welcome to the base. Thank you so much for being a Patreon supporter. Your job, skills, is, should be quite obvious. You're going to do ranching. Okay, so I need a spot for these dupes to sleep and stuff. I gotta get on this. Priority level high. There we go. Who's trapped again? I have three dupes in one apartment here. <laughs> hmm, you know what? Maybe I don't want these to be... Maybe I just want them to be wild. Because then they don't need all the food. And I still get lime out of them. Although I do need lime. See, that's the thing. Do I want lime or do I not? I still do have one poke shell that's wild here. So that's... I probably don't have to worry about it too much. Plus I'm going to guess that there's m more of them if I just go looking. Maybe not on this planet, though. All right, so focusing back down on this here, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to give myself a checkpoint and a couple of lead suit docks, just like this. So I can, I can go right through here and do exactly what I want to do, which is to get into hmm, the nuclear stuff if I really wanted to go all the way down there. Boop, I can get there. Now, for the other direction, I'll go over here to the Atmo suit, and then I'll use Atmo suit docks. Well, made my way into here. Alrighty. That looked pretty good. I'm gonna try to dig all this stuff up, so... I'm gonna have to pump that out as well. I think I'll just go right up over here. And then make use of this room. Alright, so who should I put on the Neural Vacillator this time? Lilu! Hello, you're right there. Zap him up. And... Right at the cycle change. Sunny disposition. Hey, I got that one again. Super happy, isn't it? There you go. Now you, you're using Meep's bathroom. Oh, these dupes. These dupe. Oh, jeez. Had to step away for a few minutes, so mm, several cycles went by. Looks like I got this stuff built up down here. Not 100% um, certain that I want to do lead checkpoints over here anymore. Maybe, maybe not. I do like that, but I don't think it's necessary. So I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct those. And, well, I'll just put in ammo suits here this way as well. I did put this here, so now I can go ahead and say edible. Boop. Anything that 
his meat inside of here should be picked up and thrown on the conveyor. Then we'll get shipped out of there. So that should be meat. All right, let me go ahead and make about 10 Atmo suit. So we can go ahead and put that right there. And what I can do is go ahead and just pipe oxygen in that uh, down there if I need to. What am I trying to say? What I am trying to say is I'm going to go ahead and do this number right here, giving oxygen the priority of going down first. All right, so here's what I can do. Here's my solution. I'm not gonna feed these poke shells like this. Nope, I'm gonna get rid of that. And rather, I'm, I'm going to take this polluted dirt, which is just sitting here doing nothing. I'm gonna ship it over there to the left. So I'll put this in right here and a loader right next to it. And then I'll put a conveyor chute right there. All right, so here's how this is going to work. Over here, I will ship out the polluted dirt and that will then head on over here to all of these little poke shells, which will eat the polluted dirt and turn that into sand. Very nice. I will then sweep up that sand right here if I wanted to, load it into a conveyor and I can put it on the same return line that I already have, this one. And then I'll create a little bump out right here while I will where I will detect whether or not it is sand. And if it is sand, then I'll drop it right down. To do that though, I'm going to need some more research, which means I have to actually go back out into space to get this. Oh no, another vol pup. Why not? Here we go, this is a better plan. So what I've got going on over here is I've got Atmosuit docks. You can go over here to the left if you just want to kind of run around and do some stuff, maybe dig stuff, some stuff up over here. Or if you need to go really, really far down, you can jump into an atmo suit and then take a transit tube, I don't know, the bottom of the base or something. I like it, gives me options. Oh yeah, look at all this digging going on up here. Hmm, <laughs> I've got a lot of angry poke shells down here. Look at this, there must be an egg down there. Ah yeah, there it is. Well, I'm not gonna try to be nice to them just yet. This one over here will get rid of the egg though, so that way, <laughs> They don't get angry at me. Start beating up my dupes. See? Look how happy they are now. All right. Let's go ahead and make them non-wild anymore so I can maybe build up a few of them. There we go. Polluted dirt, shipping away. Hmm. <laughs> can I actually make this work? <laughs> I think I can. If I put that right there and then build this up just like so. <laughs> Deconstruct all of that. Deconstruct de these buildings as well. Ha! Take that, video game. All right, then my next step is going to be moving all of that so that I can actually go ahead and build up yet another apartment right here. And, you know, just to kind of keep things. I didn't want to stagger them and make them look bad and miss out on this great opportunity to have a neural vacillator right in the middle of my base. Are you kidding me? Nah. Some things are meant to be, and that is one of them. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, deconstruct these gas pipes. They just keep running in a circle. There you go. Mm-hmm. Deconstruct all of that. Boop. Yeah, these dupes are getting a lot of work done today. Hmm. Wonder where all the oxygen and stuff went inside of here. It just vanished. Maybe it was down here and then it died when it turned into dirt. Things are hot enough to actually melt. Or should we say convert into dirt down there? Interesting. Very interesting. Shipping everything out of here just to kind of clean it up, more or less. <laughs> kind of a slow process, but we're getting there. Poke shells are definitely reproducing more quickly, which means I'm going to have more uh, lime available through the actual molts whenever they when they convert from into a, a baby or into an adult. So that'll be good. Been able to dig out all of this. Just finishing it up right now. So that way I can come on over here and we can plan that out, the nuclear stuff. I'll have to transport up all of the uranium into this area, refine it, and then start to run it and then capture that radiation and feed it to my rocket. <laughs> or some of the other things like the interplanetary shipping thing. A lot of good reasons to build that stuff near the surface. Definitely dug up a lot of this stuff. That seems to be doing pretty good. Just trying to build up yet another apartment. Let me go ahead and try to use this. If I flip it, ha! Love the blueprint mod, perfect. As far as the germs, you know, not too bad. I did put in a little buddy butt up here just to kind of combat any potential uh, slime lung that might be being wafted around, but you know what, it doesn't seem to, 
I don't see any of it. Not a big issue. <laughs> Except for my dupes. My poor dupes keep suffocating this. Sorry, me. You keep running down to, to like, pick up fossil or something. Lilo, Lilo, Hey! Hey, you're stuck! Dig yourself to freedom! Oh no! Now you're sleeping! There you go. Alright, if I go ahead and use the blueprint again, I should be able to fill in the stuff I didn't quite get to build last time because there was something in the way. Ha! I like that. So fancy. Then, if you go over here and you set it to a really high priority, ha! You get stuff done. Come on, dupes! Oh man. How'd I capture the puffed again? <laughs> Happens every time. Ooh, 500 kilograms of plastic. Hey, bubble darn. You're stuck up here, bud. There you go. Ooh, looky what I got going on up here. <laughs> Plants, you know what that means. Park sign. <laughs> and too big. <laughs> mm. Aha! No! Still nothing. <laughs> See, the park... That's my issue. I only have three plants. I need four if I wanted to do the nature preserve. I technically only need two if I want to do the park, so I guess I'll do that. All right, well, I guess that's about all I have time for today. Definitely did get a whole lot done. Dug up all of that built up a couple more apartments here and continuing to expand on that. You can see that I'm starting to work on the transit tube system a little bit here. We got one spot there, kind of figuring out the whole plan, uh, where I want everything to go and where all the points are. I think there's going to be one access point or maybe even a couple, eh, probably just one for all of these dupes here in the middle, probably right in this area would be good. And then they can branch out, go over wherever they need to go to do what they need to do. All that good stuff. 